Eric Yoakum used to enjoy coffee at his favorite spot here in North Arvada. It was another local coffee shop since like 1996. It changed hands a couple times, but it was my local shop. Now it's his total passion. I walked in one Saturday and um, after about a two hour conversation, kind of out of the blue, the uh, one of the owners of the shop said, basically said to me, you should buy this shop from us. And I was like, no. And then I did. That was in 2010. In early 2015, he expanded it into a new space with a whole new vision for Two Rivers Coffee. This is kind of a dream of ours for the last couple of years of um, trying to figure out what we wanted to become, what we wanted to be. What it's become is wildly successful. Still, he gets the question, hey, why a specialty coffee shop in Arvada? Well, simple as why not? Uh, this is my this is my community, and I've I've lived in Arvada for you know 20 something years now, and uh, this was my neighborhood, and I want to serve this community. I think one of the great strengths of having this in Arvada is that it's totally unexpected, and that uh, and so it kind of makes this a bit of a, a gem or a uh, you know a little diamond in the rough a bit. A loyal customer base seems to agree. It feels like home. But no, I think our Vada is very already in tune to the local, the natural, the wholesome, um, good quality vibe. And it's just a great community. They definitely come out for each other. Yoakum says Two Rivers sets itself apart from national chains by offering freshly roasted coffees with a more personal connection to their customers. We only deal in specialty graded coffee, which is the top five to 10% of coffee in the world. And we're very picky about that. And it's all roasted in, in house right behind me um, and all roasted within the last two weeks um, of serving. Yoakum does all the roasting. It's become quite a love uh, and quite a passion. It's very involved and involves you know, sight and smell and taste and touch and sound and everything. So it's really a skill to be honed in um, and it's kind of fun. Guests can watch the roasting in progress, and soon Two Rivers may add something else you aren't likely to find in a typical coffee shop, cupping events. We'll cup coffees in a very controlled kind of scientific manner to eliminate any variables so that you can really just taste the coffee for what it has to offer. Coffee is much more complex than wine, says Yoakum. Wine has about 180 distinguishable flavor characteristics. Coffee has over 830. And a cupping is similar to a wine tasting. The cupping process doesn't have any sort of filtration. That way we're not tasting any sort of influence that the filter might have on the coffee. The coffee steeps for four minutes before sampling. There are strict standards for the cupping process. Uh, the Specialty Coffee Association of America has like really stringent standards on how, how, how tall the, the table should be and how big the, the room should be. And like this would not be considered an official cupping area. First stage after it's steep is getting the aroma and so we just kind of break the crust of the coffee. And then? This process is sort of obnoxious and loud. Uh, the idea is that um, you'll see it when I when I sip the coffee from the spoon you're really trying to aerate the coffee over the entire surface of your mouth and through the olfactory valves and, and really get a, a sense of the aroma and the taste. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely for the more of the coffee geek, but a lot of fun for sure. As if the coffee experience weren't enough, Two Rivers also added an award-winning chef for 2015. Chris Teglin, who earned the People's Choice Award at the Denver International Wine Fest while working with Balistrary Winery, is wowing guests at Two Rivers with items that are becoming fast favorites here. Hits so far, I guess all the soups. I try to. I just really like colorful soups. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm very drawn to you eat with your eyes first and what's visually appealing. So our soups have done really well. And then we have a short rib grilled cheese that's been keeping me really busy back here and the pork belly sandwich as well. And for a chef who's new at pastries. Those have been flying out of our pastry case and I've been very busy. So it's been really good, yeah. As Two Rivers embraced changes, Yoakum thought this one-of-a-kind coffee shop deserved a unique atmosphere, too. He didn't want it to be just another strip mall experience. So as he expanded Two Rivers, he asked neighboring businesses, Great Harvest Bread and Natural Grocers, to open a walkway between the three shops. 
it's fun because people go, are we allowed to bring your stuff over there or their stuff here? I'm like, yeah, it's awesome. Like, we're friends and it's really, it's really cool. It's a really healthy um, neighbor relationship, so. Whatever else the future holds for Two Rivers Coffee, it is likely to come with creativity and a personal touch. I think it's just the heart and just the, the, the passion behind my whole staff and everybody that, that works here, that just wanting to offer a genuine, uh, concerned experience for our guests here in everything that we do.